Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about the song WAP, all right? A lot of people were talking about the song over the weekend, and we want to get your opinion, your thoughts. What do you think about the song? So let, let's start off with you, Yee. What were your thoughts of the song? Um, I like it. You know, I like the sample. There's some hoes in this house. I like that the video had all of uh, the different women and this business in it. I know a lot of people were going in on Kylie Jenner and wanting to take her out of the video. And Cardi explained why she had Kylie Jenner in the video in the first place. But as a person who feels like you shouldn't be shamed for discussing sex if you want to, if you want to listen to it, the conversation, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I think for women and black women in particular, we've been taught to be ashamed of our bodies and ashamed of our sexuality for so long that it's nice to see women always taking control of our own narrative about our bodies. Charlamagne? Um, I'm 42 years old. I've been doing radio for 22 years and listening to hip hop my whole life. Uh, WAP is just entertainment. It's not the end of the world at all. Okay. There's always been songs with sex driven lyrics from men and women. And, you know, by the way, this whole country, this whole society has been like that from TV to film to music to literature. Sex sells, always has, always will. And out of all the things people complain about in regards to media, Sex mm -hmm. is literally the most natural thing that you could hear about. Like when you talk about, you know, film and TV and movies and the, and the negative images that may be depicted in them, drug use, drug selling, murder, robbery, violence, none of that is natural. OK, all of that is like OD to me to constantly be shoving down folks faces. But sex is something that every single person on this planet enjoys. So I'm not about to sit around and complain and come up with think pieces with no thought about the impact of a song like WAP. Okay. I'm not about to do right. that. I'm not about to sit around and talk about how, how WAP has a negative influence on kids. Uh, yes. But you know what influences kids more than music? Nature. Biology. Okay. Humans get horny. Humans will have sex. All right. If that's, that's what how you're they trying got to here. Shield your kids away, if that's <laughs> what you're trying to shield your kids away from, good luck. And I don't even believe in luck. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't. I, I didn't see nothing wrong with the song. That's the, those two women expressing themselves, and we've seen it time and time and time again. And for everybody saying they want to ban those songs or they're not talking about those songs or they hate those songs, have you guys really listened to the artists that you guys love and some of the lines that they said? Come on, man. You know, let, let's let's be honest. Have you really listened to some of the records that we grew up on or some of the records that we listen to now? But you know what it is a lot. You What's know that? what it is. People don't. People don't like. They don't necessarily like Cardi. And if you don't necessarily like Cardi, or if you don't necessarily like Megan, you know, the things that you may accept from someone else, you will use that same thing to criticize this person that you already don't like. Right. All right. Well, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Hey, I'm Ebony from Detroit. Hey, Ebony. Okay, what, what are your thoughts on this song? Wow. The song was horrible. Let me just say that. The song sucked. But the video no, was even worse. I mean... And Yen Angela, is nothing wrong with women expressing their sexuality. I'm all for that. But mm -hmm. it's a verse in there that made the stallion even promote girls allowing or doing sexual favorites for getting your tuition. I'm sorry, your tuition paid. We can't think with our brains and get ahead because of our brains. We got to use our body. That sets back the whole Me Too movement. I mean, it's like we How can't you? look at to be good enough on our skill. We got to. How old are you, Queen? Life. I'm 37. Did you well, like it could also Kim? be. Did you like did you like Little Kim no, growing sir. up? No, Did sir. you like Foxy Brown no, growing sir. up? Queen Latifah type of, you know. Okay, like. I get it. Yeah. I, I get think it. that we need to promote our girls to use what they know to get ahead because we're smart, too. And we don't have to use our TNA to get ahead. Well, I just want to tell you how I face. interpreted that line. If you want to know what I was thinking about it when uh, Meg The Stallion says that line about getting her uh, tuition paid, I think the way I interpreted it was that she was with this guy anyway, and he loved it so much he paid her tuition. That's how good it was. That's how good that WAP was. You, I interpreted that you let him do this, and you better get your tuition paid. And Cardi, come on, we know that if you ain't cooking and cleaning, you ain't you ain't gonna got you ain't gonna have no husband, especially not a decent one. So we all she know is that married. That's a dream, but. My thing about it is that the song was just wrong. I'm sorry. It's setting us back as a culture and as women, especially black women. We got to do better. We got to teach our daughters better. No, nope, I don't know. You know what it is, too? I just want to just to rebut that a little bit. I just want to say guys always in songs talk about getting their uh, penises. I don't, I don't know what word to use. Oral sex. 
right? And so now a woman is talking about oral sex as well. And that's all it is. Like guys talk about it all the time in a fun way. They're just talking about it in a song in a fun way. Well, thank you, mom. You're, you're entitled to I would love to mom. get some. I would love to get some money for my sex. Well, I've gotten paid nope. for sex before. I've had, I've had, I've had a, I had a, a older woman. I was doing things that I had no business doing things with. She paid she you with to, Cheetos, right? It was like some chips or something. Actually, she used to give me Twinkies and fried chicken in a little plastic something. baggie. But she also would throw me two and three stacks every now and then. Okay, she ain't giving no two or three stacks. That's a damn that's a lie. goddamn lie. She yes, she did. Some yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She gave me both. She gave me Twinkies. It was eating Twinkies and fried chicken. You like that? Um, you like that beige softness with the cream filling? That's right. He I likes when he bite that. I, I, and that's, I was, and that's, I was in my late twenties, and she would and call that me cream car comes service. out. He used to love that. And cream she would call me car right. service. <laughs> that's a lie. And she would call me car service. That's okay? a lie. Cite your they, they use what you got. You call a car they service when you want somebody to get out. Like, all right, your car service. I didn't care. Wait, she was a married woman. She was a married woman. She had to get me out. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at it. She had it all figured out. I'm so disgusted. All right, Charlemagne with that WAP. <laughs> and I do want to say that Cardi, that Cardi did say Cardi did say she know how to cook. She did say uh, she said that in the Breakfast Club interview last week. But it's just rap. That's what I'm saying. It's just entertainment. So when she it's says song, she don't cook, she don't just, clean. It's 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 entertainment. She still well, got that ring. Five eight five one zero oh, five one. We're talking about Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's new song WAP. Hello, who's this? This your boy Rawness from Florida. Hey, brother, what, what do you think about Cardi B's joint WAP? I mean, optically, I like the video, and, and you know, I sure. mean, the song is not a bad song. But when my teenage daughters look at it, you know, it's like sometimes they get that idea that is this the definition of beauty, or this what I should look like, or, you know, is it okay for me to be saying I got a, I got a WAP? You know what I'm saying? Because these are the people that I like and I kind of look up to. And if they saying, you know, I got that WAP, you know, is it okay for me to be King, like, I got King, that? King, you love their mama because they had that WAP. Yeah. All right. And your name is Rawness, God. King. You, you're King. Right. <laughs> your name is Rawness, King. Explain okay? that. <laughs> One thing that men have to realize, and I'm speaking from the perspective of a father with three daughters. Guess what? Eventually, your daughter's going to do everything that, you know, you did with their mamas. Okay, your, right. your, your mom, the, the mama is somebody's daughter too, King. Every woman we've ever been with is somebody's daughter. You do realize that, right? I do. All right, Rawness. How do you explain that <laughs> name to your kids? Angelique. Why they call? Angelique. Why they call you Rawness? Hey, hey. I don't know. I used to be. I had to do a little rap thing back in the day, you know. Oh, but right, you know, man. but Angelique, you can't on the same breath be like, you know, me ain't been doing this for years, so it's okay. Like, you can't feel like it's wrong for a man to talk like that, but then be like, it's okay for us to do that because... You I know, didn't women, say it was wrong for a man. For I, said, you know, I never said that was wrong. Yeah. I, said men, yeah. I said men have been talking about sexuality and their sex and all of that for years. Women should be able to do the same. I never said it was wrong. Yeah. And they should be, and they should be. But don't make it seem like, you know, men been doing this, so it's our turn now, you know. If you feel like that type of talk is wrong, it should be wrong on both ends, regardless of who said it. I never it, said know. it was wrong. I said women can do it too. Oh, and, and before I leave, uh, <laughs> I do believe in aliens too. Um, you know. <laughs> oh my God, we are all <laughs> over the place here. I, 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 my boy Charlemagne and them abductions, you know, because <laughs> it, 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 it's real. <laughs> That's right. Aliens they don't gotta believe us, All right. All right. Thank you, man. All right, can we go to one more call? Did you call him ma'am? <laughs> I said, all right, man. And we want that wab. Hello, who's this? <laughs> Yo, this is Trizzy. Yo, what's Trizzy! up? Trizzy. Yeah, can now, we're asking me? Cardi B's song. What do you think? What, what, what were your thoughts? All right. Uh, I don't think it's a... I mean, I don't really have a, a... Whether it's bad or good. But this is what I will say. Nothing about the song wowed me. And I like what? Don't get me wrong. I like women. Mm -hmm. I like females. I'm a lesbian. Um, but I, what I will say is that I just feel like right now there's a shift right now and I ain't going to lie. I'm a little disappointed at the fact that I feel like as far as black hip hop entertainment goes, I just feel like we need a lot of more university right now with everything that's going on. Now I said this, uh, to a couple of my friends, I was like, little baby song, the bigger picture, right? It didn't even mm -hmm. hit number one on the bill on the billboard. I think it peaked at like number three. I love that song. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to take the focus off of what's really going on out here. 
You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times in the music industry, with the music, we get distracted by what's hot right now and what's going on and what this female is doing. And I don't want to take the focus off of what's going on out here in the community. Like, I do feel like we need more music that is that are, is speaking about these issues that's going on. Tracy, let's you know talk about so that like, for a second, right? Let's talk about that. If you if you if people don't like the WAP song, if you don't like the images Cardi B and Meg The Stallion put out, then why y'all don't buy Rhapsody's music? Rhapsody is my favorite rapper of this era. Like the past ten years, out of all these new folks, I like a lot of people, but Rhapsody, Kendrick Lamar, and Nipsey are my three favorites. Rhapsody is a woman who has put out phenomenal bodies of work, like Layla's Wisdom and Eve. She raps about everything y'all say y'all want to hear, but y'all don't support her as much as you say. Uh, y'all want that type why, of music, and why, I don't understand why, that. Why it's not being, but why it's not being pushed through through the industry is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can go and listen to that on YouTube or, or, or whatever other platform. But I'm saying, as far as the radio itself and like what is what is played on the radio on a consistent basis, that's what I'm saying. I don't know that radio have, is what everybody have, listens to for music. No, but listen, we have listen, but we have control over what we can and want to listen to. Can't nobody say, "Oh, you have to listen to this" or "You have to listen to that." I agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. But just for me, I'm just saying that that's just my personal opinion about what I feel about the radio or mainstream music. Just period. And, all, and, that's and we I'm all and, and we spend so much time talking about things we don't like as opposed to talking about things we do like. That's what happened this weekend. Everybody sat around talking about how much they don't like the Cardi WAP video because it's negative right, and, and yada yada yada. yada. Saying, like I don't have no, I don't really have no opinion on whether it's good. That's, that's, that's the first thing I said when I, when I, you know, when I first started talking. Mm -hmm. to, I don't, I don't really have an opinion whether it's good or bad. That's not my point. I just feel music in general. Like I don't, okay. I don't really care about. You yeah. know, what I'm saying? Like I said, and like, you know, I, music I, I serves. Like I, I music serves several purposes. Yeah. 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 And I do want to say music serves several purposes. It can be used to uplift. It can be used to entertain. You know, it's multifaceted. So sometimes you might want to twerk to WAP and then sometimes you might want to listen to the bigger picture and you know and feel that inspiration it just I think different moods that's what music does for you it sets the All mood right. depending on what you have going on what's the moral of the story guys I don't know if it is a moral of the story uh I would just say I don't think that we have to be one extreme or the other uh I think we can have it all at once Mm -hmm. Um, so, and I also want y'all to go scream Rhapsody's music, <laughs> right? For all of y'all out there complaining about the images that Cardi and Megan put out there, there's, 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 there's an alternative. Her name is Rhapsody. Okay. And she's not the only, you know, uh, woman rapper rapping about, uh, so quote unquote positive things. You know what I mean? I don't even, I, like I said, I, I, I think that we can have it all at once because for every Cardi B, there is a Rhapsody. All right. For every right. Meg the Stallion, there is a, a a no name or whatever it is you want to listen to. All right. Now we got rumors on the way, Yee. Uh yes, and Drake is in some beef again. Find out who he's beefing with and what exactly happened for this to go down. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.